The winter is a great time for doing research because the snow makes it easy to tell what trap, see the traps and tell what animals are going on. Like here there are some squirrel tracks and it looks like there's been a little mouse or something going, it's been up that tree and looks like a dog is walked by. As we're going along we notice that around this tree there are some, beneath the little layer of snow there are some pine, little pine cone leaves and which is usually done by a squirrel. And as we walk closer, we see that there is a hole right there. Probably done by a squirrel. And there's some traps going to it. And here's some fresh stuff. Fresh pine cone eating stuff. As we were walking through the woods, we started Something that looks like a trail, very quick, often we travel by some animal, maybe like a porcupine, maybe going to get a drink or something. Let's follow it up and see where it goes. I followed it up and it came to this old car. I look, and I look around and I see a porcupine cat, which obviously means that it's a porcupine trap. And looking closely down, you can see some porcupine quills down there. So, in, it looks like that it's been living here quite recently. Because after this fresh snowfall, there are still tracks. Now that we had found what was at one end, our curiosity grew. And so we had to find out what was at the other end. As we were following the older one, I mean the newer one, we found an old one going off. And we followed it up and it came to an old human barn in the middle of the woods. So probably, the, or maybe obviously, the porcupine moved from that place to the truck. As we followed the trail, we found that it crossed the street. But that's, that doesn't solve our mystery. We still don't know what was at the other end. After, immediately after we crossed the stream, we, we found a bunch of branches gnawed clean as their needles under a pretty bare hemlock tree. And that is it. Now we know that the porcupine has been traveling along the trail and going to this tree to a meal. And that's why it's almost there. Here, here we found a very active squirrel area by the stream. <coughs> and here where was the tunnel where the squirrel where the snow melted, and you could see how it kind of goes. See, that's probably where it came in. And <coughs> we went off. And here's a storeroom where they have all sorts of seeds and pie goes. And then it goes down under the roof. Then it goes under the floor. From the distance, we could hear a squirrel chattering. Be quiet, you can hear.
found many beautiful and new ice formations. Like this one here. and what you saw and heard so in a couple years you can come and you you can look back at your notes and see how they were compared to the ones you had, had then and so I'm going to write a couple notes on what we saw today and then we can a couple years look back up We saw some mouse and some squirrel tracks, and there was a bunch of pine cones eaten by a squirrel. There was a place that a porcupine made a trail going to a hemlock tree where he would eat. There also was a place where there was there were some very active squirrel tracks. We also saw some grouse tracks and some snowshoe hare tracks. There was an app tree where some deer had visited and a deserted robin's nest. So in the years to come, we can look back on these notes and see what we used to see. <laughs> 